got to the hotel and I'm at the Sona Feliz Hotel in South Korea. I'm not sure what, exactly what town it's in because obviously I don't know how to pronounce the towns but it's like I'm not even gonna attempt to say it. I'll put it up here on the screen somehow some way when I upload this video but I'm so excited because this hotel is a very very nice hotel in the summertime it is a resort with a water park and in the winter time like it is now it is a resort that you can go skiing so or snowboarding so i'm gonna attempt to go snowboarding in this vlog because i've never been and it's like once in a lifetime opportunity so that is exactly what i'm going to do excuse me the way the building is set up is the main building is in the the center and it has like where you check in, um, souvenir shops, games, etc. And then there on one side is A, B, and C wing, A, B, C, D wing, and then the other side is um, E, F, G wing. So I am in the G wing and I'm walking over here right now to my room. So I'm gonna show you guys my room. They actually have a Samsung doorbell which you can ring and then your picture shows up in the screen in the room. I'll show you guys that in a minute. What is at my doorbell? Who's there? Hello? Yes? Hi, it's Monique. Monique who? Oh, okay. Come on in. So you take your key. Your door is unlocked. When you first walk in, this is the entrance. In order to have this stuff work in the hotel, you have to put your key in the key slot. So this is the name of the hotel, guys. All right, when you first walk in, immediate to your left, there is a meditation room. Um, you can use this to do yoga, meditate, whatever you desire. It's just an extra room. There's some floor mats right there. All right, immediately to your right, there is a bathroom. They provide you with shower shoes and um, there's a toilet. The toilets are really nice. They have, um, you know, I forgot the name for them, but they squirt water into your regions after you're finished. Um, there's a nice big mirror right there. There's a walk-in shower with that shower head. I love that shower head. That is my dream shower head for my house. And then they also have the one you can remove and shower with that as well. <clears throat> now, looking back into the foyer, there's closets right here. There is a safe and then the things where you can hang up your clothes as well as another closet where they just store um, some cleaning materials, some house shoes, and then you can put your own personal stuff in there. What's this? A random drawer. Going into this, this is the setup. You see a couch, a love seat, flat screen TV, um, on here is what we talked about when someone rings your doorbell. You guys can clearly see them on here. You can answer the phone call and you can also unlock your door for them to come into your room. Dining area where you can eat. This is a little kitchen area. Has a stove, a stove top, drawers for compliances. It also has a, a washer and dryer built into one, which is really cool. A sink. You have some dishes and stuff at the top of there. So if you want to cook or anything, this is your refrigerator. Can you guys see that? It fits so perfectly into the wall. It's a fridge at the top. There's no food in there, obviously, because I'm just here for the resort. There's a freezer at the bottom. Now we have my 
balcony. So you just do like that. Step outside and you can see all of the beauty that this hotel has to offer. Um, yeah, so these are like little restaurants, spa, gym, and all that. And then this is the building that I'm in. Over there is where the skiing will be. Straight ahead, there is a water park, but it's closed down because it's winter time. And then over to your left, there is a golf course. So you can go golfing as well. My balcony is extremely big. It's all over there. All of this is my balcony. That is my living room area, and then this is my bedroom area. So the balcony is extremely large. You can have quite a lot of people in here. So that's my balcony. I come back inside. I'm going to take you guys into my room. I just threw some of my belongings in here. Once again, you have another closet for storage. This is what the room looks like. Light switches are on the wall right there. You also have a flat screen TV, a nice bed nightstand a little dresser and stool to do like makeup or whatever a nice big mirror and then your bathroom the second bathroom in the hotel is in attached to your room once again you have the nice toilet that's really fancy it also has other controls down here to do all of the necessities that you may need while using the latrine then we have a nice big mirror then we also have a nice bath tub that you can take a nice warm bath in as well as the removable shower head hey guys so that is it for my hotel room tour my suite um room tour every room in this hotel looks just like this so it's really really nice it honestly looks like a apartment a nice size apartment it can be really expensive trying to stay here for more than a couple of days because Baby, this is upscale. They have money in Korea, okay? So I'm currently all dressed up and I am heading over to the freaking snow slopes. Um, This is gonna be my first time snowboarding. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in the video. So I'm probably going to die. Hey guys, so I am now all suited up. I have my gloves and my boots. This is my snowboard right here, and I'm waiting for my friend to get some crap so we can hit the slopes. Oh shit. You got it? learning curve out here i done fell <laughs> five, 10 20 times but i'm having fun it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to be out here man seoul korea south korea excuse me skiing once in a lifetime opportunity i don't think i'll ever be able to do this again but i like it so i might try but yeah that's the view behind me i'm trying not to crash into one of somebody child out here but this shit's starting to hurt my body Don't be scared, go. So just finished. My wrists are like broke because I was like bracing myself by pressing my wrist down to the ground. So it hurt so bad. I fell a couple times, like 20, 30 times. Only went down the slopes three times, but I did feel like I was getting the hang of it towards the end. My biggest downfall is that I don't know how to stop. I know, right? I don't know how to stop. So it's really hard. And then I was like trying not to run into people, kids, because there was a lot of children out there. And I didn't want to like, run them down coming down the mountain at like 30 miles per hour so my tailbone is hurting both wrists is hurting my kneecaps are hurting so snowboarding hurts so if you don't know that snowboarding really really hurts but it was really really fun